want to thank Minwax for sponsoring this video. Um, I'm pretty sure I won this DIY duel um, that I'm doing with uh, two friends, Scott Sidler, who runs the Craftsman blog, and then Sarah, she runs Ugly Duckling DIY. But basically, here's what I'm looking at. I've got two sides, and then I've got seven shells, basically. And then the only other pieces are the runners and then the toe kit. I usually make a cut list and then I'll go down the street to my friends at the table saw pre-cut and we're about to sand and stain it. So I got all the white oak sanded. Everything here got set aside. Uh, picked up in here a little bit and cleaned up, but we got plans tonight. So I cleaned up, everything's ready to go for tomorrow. I've got two colors going on this cabinet. Minwax, uh, one dark, one light. My wife picked it. Finally got back to it. Stain in this pickled oak. pieces right here these are all the shelves so all the inside is getting stained the way that we stain everything was I got these I got 30 microfiber rags I would cut these in half or you can just use them as is dip them in here I would dip them in and just wipe it on simply try not to do it too heavy because uh, I didn't want a whole bunch of runs. Go back over it and wipe it off with a dry rag. We actually did two coats of the ebony and just one coat of the pickled oak. And I am working on the face frame right here. Pocket holes, face frame, all white oak. So here's my pieces. I'm going to assemble these shortly. <laughs> Everything's put together. Check it out. Now I need to sand it and prep this for the uh, darker stain, which is ebony. Ebony stain. That's going on the outside of the cabinet. Marked my shelves. Now I'm gonna start shooting them on, and then put the back on. She's finishing staining right now. Eighteen gauge, Brad Naylor. So I got 
the right side on and all the shelves. Now I need to shoot this side on. I need to flip it. Put the back on it. dry fit everything looks good I'm about to shoot this on stand it up and I'm gonna seal it with this clear satin spray because I want to keep it pretty matte I'm gonna let it dry out here then we're gonna move in the house load it up To fill the nail holes on the front of the bookshelf, um, I bought some uh, Minwax wood putty. And I just pressed it into the holes and you wipe it off with a dry rag. Normally you want to make sure that your work is stained and sealed ahead of time because it can leave like a little residue but if it's stained and sealed it wipes right off you can use a dry rag or even kind of a, a slightly damp rag I've been using Minwax for years. It was pretty easy to go ahead and apply all this stuff because I do have so many Min Minwax products actually here in my cabinet. Um, I've used their stains a lot. I like them, I like the way they apply, I like the way that they dry, I like the way that they look afterwards. Thanks guys, vote for me, I won. <laughs>